When it comes to winterizing or otherwise storing your motorcycle, most advice on the topic is sound. Wash it, change the oil, add fuel stabilizer, you know the steps. But there is one recommendation that can actually be more harmful than helpful, and that's regularly starting the engine. Why is it such a bad idea and what's a better option? Let's open up the shop manual and find out. This episode of the Shop Manual is brought to you by Kershaw, my go-to unboxing knife and a tool I carry with me everywhere. Get 25% off your order at kershawknives.com with code NEWKNIFE25. When your bike is in storage, starting it every month or maybe every couple of weeks and letting it idle for a while is supposed to keep the battery charged, circulate oil to keep the engine lubricated, and help keep the fuel system from gunking up. Those all sound like good things, except they're accompanied by a fairly serious problem, moisture. You've probably seen water dripping out of the weep hole at the bottom of your bike's exhaust at some point, and we've all seen clouds of steam coming from the muffler at startup on a cold day. Sure, there's inevitably a little water in gasoline and there's some humidity in the air going into the air box, but the majority of the water exiting an engine is actually created in the combustion chamber. That's because when gasoline burns, the carbon and hydrogen atoms in gas combine with oxygen in the air to create carbon dioxide and water, which its mother calls dihydrogen monoxide when it's in trouble. And trouble is exactly what water is. It will linger in your engine and exhaust and cause all kinds of mischief, from rusting your valves and acidifying your oil, to ruining your O2 sensors and corroding your exhaust. Now, if combustion creates all of this water, then why isn't it a problem during normal use? Because when you actually ride your motorcycle, revving it up and putting the engine under load, everything from the cylinder head on down to the drain plug and back to the muffler tip gets scorching hot. So the water vapor in the exhaust gas has zero chance of condensing into a corrosive liquid. However, when people start their motorcycle during winter storage, they usually only let it run for five, maybe 10 minutes because uh, it's boring and uncomfortable to stand around in a cold garage. And when you run a motorcycle for that short amount of time, things don't heat up enough, even if the temp gauge on the dash says so, and you end up with condensation within your engine and exhaust. But what about the battery, oil, and fuel problems that starting your bike is supposed to avoid? How do you deal with those? Hmm. The lubrication thing really isn't an issue since oil is exceptionally good at sticking around and never really abandons the surface. Gas going bad is a real concern. So you should fill your tank with fresh fuel and treat it with a quality stabilizer, which will keep it good for several months. Or you could just drain the tank, siphon the fuel out and run the bike until it stalls for fuel injected motorcycles or drain the float bowls on carbureted bikes. As for the battery, your best bet is to plug it into a maintainer, which will do a far better job of keeping the cells charged and conditioned than idling the bike ever will. If you don't have power where you store your bike, then just take the battery out of the motorcycle, bring it into an outlet, and then plug the battery and maintainer in there. If running the bike is genuinely your only option, then first of all, you've got to do it somewhere with good ventilation. Second, it's critical that you let the engine run long enough that it gets up to normal operating temperature. And I'm not talking about the coolant temp that's displayed on the dash. That's gonna show hot long before the bottom end of the engine is even warm. Honestly, you gotta let that sucker run long enough that the engine cover is too hot to touch. You need the oil temperature to get up over 212 degrees so that it boils off any moisture. And that can take a long time in a cold garage. So, as tempting as it is to exercise your bike during its winter nap, you are much better off prepping the bike properly before storage and then just leaving it alone until you're actually ready to ride it. <laughs>